Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we're gonna be talking about dating rules and traditions from the 1950s that we no longer do anymore, or we have very severely altered. Um, so yeah, a lot of these are interesting. What better to talk about love than near Valentine's Day? So I figured I'd make this video in celebration of Valentine's Day. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. And yes, I did cut my hair because who doesn't cut or dye their hair when they're having a crisis? So the first one is called going steady and getting pinned and it doesn't mean what you think it means you're nasty it means that you literally get your boyfriend's school pin or their ring or their jacket to prove that you're dating them and you're going steady which means you aren't seeing anyone else don't ask me out i have a boyfriend period <laughs> that's what it means going steady everybody knows that makes it sound so exclusive Going steady? Yes, I guess I have been going steady with Jeff. Now, another rule in the 1950s was that you cannot ask a guy out. So basically, as a woman, you just had to flirt from a distance, give him the eye, give him the smile, or you can also ask, like, ask his friends if he likes you, or tell his friends that you like him, and you would just have to hope that he would approach you. Otherwise, you can't do anything about it, you can't approach him. Basically, you want it as a woman to be very, very hard to get, because if you weren't, your guy would leave you for someone harder to get. They don't have to be prettier, they don't have to be smarter. If they're harder, they're gonna go for them and leave you because no one likes the floozy in the 50s. I need a date for tonight's jukebox tambourine. Well, I'm solo, sugar. You wanna see these gunboats? I give cry, baby. I give bear second on the first date. Use your mentality and cool down. Yeah, Lenora, your bosoms ain't nothing. Better watch it, bozo, you might catch a cold. My brother wouldn't touch your titties with a 10-foot pole. He likes his women bad, Lenora, not cheap. The next rule is, as a guy, you cannot ask a girl out the day of. So basically, you would have to inquire minimum two days um, before the date. So if you want to go on a date Friday, you have to inquire Wednesday. Hello? Hi, Ellen. It's Bill Jenkins. Oh, hello, Bill. Say the teen club's giving a party at the community house Friday night. Would you like to go with me? Oh, yes, thanks. That sounds like a lot of fun. The party starts at 7.30. I'll call for you about 10 after. Fine, Bill. I'll be looking forward to it. Bye. Now, the lady, on the other hand, has to say yes or no instantly. You can't think about it. You can't say, well, I'll let you know. Like, you have to approve or disapprove instantly. Um, and if you do disapprove, you have to do it politely, like super politely, as politely as possible. And that is probably where the birth of, I'm sorry, but I have a boyfriend, came from. You, ladies, you know what I'm talking about. We all do this. Now, this next rule is a little bit crazy. <laughs> but all of your dates had to be introduced to your parents. So, you know, nowadays, we introduce a guy when we're like 90% sure that we want to be with this guy long term. Back then, you had to do, introduce all of them. Mother, are you busy? I'd like you to meet my father. Dad, this is Wally Johnson. Well, hello, Wally. How do you do, Mr. Ames? Here I am, darling. And I suppose this is Wally. That's right, Mrs. Ames. How do you do? Well, it's nice meeting you. And mainly, it's because they want to approve or disapprove of this guy. So they approve him. They're like, okay, cool. There's This is her curfew. Get out of here. Come back when I tell you to. If they disapprove of him, they will literally slam the door. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of parents were nice about this, but if they disapproved of the guy, they would say, you guys aren't going out. I don't want you to see my daughter anymore. Bye. So this next rule is, as a woman, you are not allowed to order your own food on a date. So basically, you would have to tell the guy and the guy would have to tell the waiter. So imagine how awkward that would be. Hey babe, so um, I want the burger with the triple but no sauce. Um, take out the, the tomatoes, but like maybe add like a little bit more onions and like a side of fries, but like also make sure the fries are like not burnt because I hate when that happens. And then I want a soda and then later on I want a sundae. Can you do that? I think she said she wanted uh, a burger with no tomatoes and uh, a lot of sauce. No, just a little bit of sauce. Uh, just a little bit of sauce. Imagine how awkward that would be. <laughs> but that's, that's what they did. That's what they did. You cannot order, as a woman, your own food. 
So a rule that they were very strict about in the 1950s was no Dutch dating. And it doesn't mean you can't date a Dutch person. <laughs> Dutch dating meant when the woman paid for the dates and or even if she paid for like anything, yeah. That's called Dutch dating and it's frowned upon by society. So on average, a guy in the 1950s would spend $7 to get two high school basketball games, six Cokes, two bags of popcorn, three movie dates, unlimited television dates, and gasoline. So all of that was for $7 a month. Now another rule from the 1950s is not to get too drunk. You're not allowed to lose your dignity in public. You would embarrass the guy, um, you would make him feel uncomfortable and make him feel like he's dating someone trashy. So you're not allowed to get too drunk in public or the guy will literally like take you home and like never talk to you again. Um, which is kind of, it makes sense like, but that would have to go for guys too. Um, it kind of makes sense in general not to get too drunk on dates because like no one likes to babysit people so um, yeah. That would make sense to me. Now this one kind of goes hand in hand with public humiliation and that is do not show affection in public to your man. He doesn't like it when you caress him, when you kiss him, when you hug him in public because it makes them again feel like they're dating a floozy. Like wow look at that girl she can do that in public imagine how many guys she does it to in private. That was the kind of way they saw it. They didn't like it. Don't do it. Um, and so, of course, that was a rule that was broken and a lot of guys were okay with it, but the more traditional men hated it. And the last rule is, as a woman, you have to let the guy talk first. And that goes not only for first dates, but for every date until you guys are no longer together. <laughs> so it didn't matter how you felt, it didn't matter how your day went, um, it was frowned upon if you talked too much about your day or how you feel. So you basically just had to ask the guy questions and put up with it um, and just make it all about him. And um, that was very common, it was, it was a thing. A guy would not even bother asking about how you feel sometimes and would just go on about his work or about his like teammates and stuff, so that sucks. <laughs> So that pretty much wraps up the biggest and most common dating rules and traditions. Uh, comment down below if you still kind of follow these things and comment down below if some of these things were shocking. Which one was shocking? Let me know. Um, but yeah, that concludes the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up before you go. Make sure that you subscribe so you guys get more vintage and princess content like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.